Hi traders, welcome to the Pro Traders Workshop Series. And today I'm going to go over a very simple yet very powerful trading strategy on the one hour chart. It's um, a scalping strategy. For this, we need a few indicators. I use MACD with a pro, uh, setting of 12.26.9 as the default setting, a simple eight moving average line, pivot points, candlesticks, and the charting software I use is Duke is copy. Um, for those of you that don't recognize the charts, I don't use an MT4 platform simply because they don't have um, pivot points and you have to download a template if, uh, if you want pivot points on your chart. So it's a lot easier for me to download a Duke is copy charting software. And if you don't if you don't want to open up an account, you can just download a demo. It's two weeks and just keep on refreshing it. And they have no problem using demos. So let me just show you the platform. I use this pivot point um, historical data so you can we can go back in history and see how many trade setups we can find. And that is the key. You need to practice every day and see how many setups you can find. I look for, I turn it into a game, see if I can find 10 or 15 a day. It only takes me about five to ten minutes, but it's crucial for you to be able to recognize these setups. You need to be able to practice so you can, when you do see a setup, then it's easy to spot. Otherwise, it's very difficult to do this in real time. So the three things that need to happen is, first, two lines of MACD. This is a one-hour chart and a Euro-Australian dollar. The two lines of MACD need to be crossing to the upside if I'm going to take a trade long. Uh, the second thing that needs to happen is price needs to close above the eight moving line, which I call a trigger line. And also price needs to be above the central pivot point. So we have a central pivot point and then price above the eight moving average line and the two lines of MACD crossing to the other side. That is my trading. That's my signal, my alert to take a trade. The exit is usually when price closes below the eight moving average line. So on this particular trade, which worked out really well, is market went up about 200 pips, but it's getting very close. Actually, it's the uh, closing of the UK market. So price, notice it's just stalling out at the moment. So usually I like to exit trades before noon Eastern because that's when um, the UK market's closing and markets tend to retrace. Technically, you can stay in this trade as long as it, it's above the eight moving average line. Okay. Now, of course, the key, as I mentioned, is that you need to go back in history. So I added these pivot points so we can go back and see how many trades we can find. Um, I forgot to mention is you want to be using a higher time frame as your confirmation. So let me just highlight this area. And for the past one, two, three days, the market was trending, was in an uptrend. And the two lines of MACD, this was a counter trend trade where price broke below the central pivot point here. And the two lines of MACD crossed to the downside. But because the overall directional bias was in an uptrend, this was short lived. You could have taken this trade, but you have to realize that when you're taking counter trend trades, then they are very short-lived and you could probably made about 20 or 30 pips on this trade. How do I know that the market's in an uptrend? And the way I know that is that I need to look at a higher time frame. So if I'm looking at the four hour chart, notice that price is above the central pivot point and above the eight moving average line on the four hour chart. It did dip below yesterday, but it recovered and then resumed its trend. The two lines in MACD are angled and separated going up. And this is crucial. This is very important. This tells me that we're not in a downtrend any longer. We're in an uptrend on this pair. So the four hour chart is telling me that I should be buying. My one hour chart is the chart that I use for my entries. So if I look, when I wake up in the morning, I look at a chart and I see, okay, Price is trading above the central pivot point and above the eight moving average line on the four hour chart. Let me go to my one hour chart to look for entries in the direction of the four hour chart. And here was one trade 
and here was another trade. I would have taken this trade but stayed in, put my stop loss below the swing low here because I'm trading in the direction of the four hour chart. And that's the key, that is the secret. Just need to make sure that if you take a trade on the one hour chart by qualifying, make sure it's in the direction of the higher time frame. Okay. So again, the secret to be able to become very good at this, becoming an expert on the scalping system, is simply to just go back in history and start looking for trade setups. So this, for the past three days here, the market's in a downtrend. So let's highlight this area and look at the four hour chart and see what's going on. So this area on the four hour chart, price is below the central pivot point, below the eight moving average line, except for a little correction here, the market was in a downtrend. And it started all the way back in October 16th. And it, the market was continuing a downtrend, but then things just turned around and now we're in an uptrend. So as long as price is below or above the central pivot point, on the four hour chart, that's the direction we should be taking on the one hour chart, looking for trade setups on the one hour chart. So this highlighted area on the four hour chart, the market's in a downtrend, so all simply we need to do is go to the one hour chart and start looking for selling opportunities on the one hour chart. Okay, here was a trade setup where price was Trading below the central pivot point, below the 8 moving average line, and it sold off. There's a bit of a retracement, but that was short-lived, and it continued the next day. And then there's there a retracement. Again, remember, this shaded area represents the 4-hour chart, which is in a downtrend, so this is a retracement. So you don't want to make decisions on the 1-hour chart thinking that directional bias of the market is recovering and it's going to go to the moon. The four hour chart is still showing that the market's in a downtrend. So this is a key. Here's the trade setup going in the direction of the four hour chart. The two lines of MACD cross to the downside. Price closes below the, the central pivot point and below the eight moving average line. And for the next few hours, or really six or seven hours, the market's in a downtrend. So that's how you qualify a trade. Make sure that you're looking at a four hour chart and whatever direction the four hour chart is telling you, then that is what you need to do on the one hour chart for entries, okay? Now we do have trade setups on a daily chart, and that is, we're gonna go over that in the next video. And I just wanted to focus on scalping, which all we need is a one hour and four hour chart for that. Okay, so that concludes the tutorial on a scalping system. If you're interested in joining the Pro uh, Traders Workshop and you're not a member, then there are several ways you can do that. This is our website. It's fx-northwest.com. You can just log on and click on the Forex Trading link. We have uh, three separate programs. We have Trade Copier. We have Trade Signals. This is the most popular program we have, Trade Signals. You'll learn how to trade news events. I send out videos the day before the news event high impact news event and we have and I just show you a strategy how to trade based on what the numbers may or may not you know come out and you receive daily signals tr news trading events I'll teach you how to trade binary options you'll receive all videos uh, in your email box at $79 a month you can cancel at any time and then we have a pro professional trader program which you will get everything and that's $9.97 for six months membership program. It's a one-time fee. And you get private coaching session, trade signals, and um, support every day. You just email me if you have questions, you have problems trading, then you can just shoot me an email. Then we just meet for a few minutes, see what the problem is. But we meet every day, one-on-one, -on -one, the hours, the trading uh, program, the, the private coaching, we meet once, uh, one hour for each private coaching session. Usually it's about one or two trading um, private coaching sessions a week. So sign up for a program if you haven't, if you want to take your trading to the next level. Thanks for watching this video and catch you on the next one.